Tonight, the airline industry is asking where's the money as it is hitting turbulence here. It is planning to furlough 32,000 employees. And in the meantime, workers are waiting to see if there's any further government assistance landing soon. So with a look at what's at stake as well as the latest unemployment data, we wanted to bring in our consumer investigative reporter, Bill McGinty. So Bill, we're hearing a lot of these plans for furloughs, et cetera, are gonna be dependent on some sort of deal that might be coming out of Congress. Have you heard the latest? Yeah, you know, Vanessa, you know, we're asking, but the airline industry now asking, where, where's the money? I mean, that's that's the big catchphrase over the last six months. It's a big slogan. Um, but I'll tell you, no one seems to know where the money is, at least in terms of this airline industry deal, because Congress and the White House can't seem to come up with any deal. Heading into the holidays, airline cuts of any kind are both bad news for flyers and anybody working at almost any airline. Charlotte is an American hub. Thousands of jobs are hanging in the balance at both American and United. I don't have a backup plan. I'm going to be in the unemployment line like so many other people. On the topic of a D.C. deal helping keep them in the air, American CEO Doug Parker told CNN this. I'm really encouraged by the fact that it sounds like they're making real progress. That is absolutely the right path. Americans Parker told employees in this letter about the coming furloughs, but added near the bottom, we will reverse any furlough processes and recall any impacted team members should a bailout or a grant be given by the government. No plan for D.C. could put the economic recovery into a tailspin before the election. The latest numbers from the Department of Labor still show improvement nationally. Initial unemployment claims last week were at 837,000. That's down 36,000 from the week before. However, people seeking pandemic unemployment assistance, that went up by almost 35,000 claims. Here in North Carolina, initial unemployment claims dropped slightly by 1,500. And the number of people now collecting unemployment in North Carolina dropped by 18,512. So, Vanessa, the unemployment numbers were still heading in the right direction up to midnight last night. Now, the airline is an enormous industry in this country, and so it'll be interesting to see if no deal is reached between uh, Congress and the White House, what effect that's going to have on the unemployment numbers, as a lot of these people with the airlines, certainly American, uh, have, uh, you know, are going to be need to file uh, unemployment uh, for unemployment insurance in the coming days. Yeah, we are certainly seeing a lot of folks asking about what the fate of this next round could be, and it just seems to be something that is just stuck. It's just a big sticking point right now for Congress as well as the Trump administration. So we will wait to hear more. Thank you, Bill.